Okay, hey y'all. So, you're gonna see me in pajamas a lot, okay? I've been in the house for like the entire week, pretty much, of fall break. I think I left out of the house one time this week to actually like get in the car and go somewhere, but it's all good. Anyway, so today is Shop Small Saturday or Small Business Saturday, which is always the day after Black Friday. Um, I'm excited because today I have officially, not to just today, but I'm officially launching the Four Glitter Girl site, which is um, my daughter's, even though I'm doing a lot of the work. It's my daughter's lip gloss business, and it's not just going to be lip gloss. It's going to be way more than that. We started as the More Glitter Girls Club, but I changed it to Four Glitter Girls Club, and it's all about, you know, um, it's for moms and daughters. So it's about creating a connection between the moms and the daughters and encouraging them to be confident and be bold based off of the scripture, Joshua 1.9 which says be strong and courageous because God is always with us, right? He never leaves us, never forsake us. So he tell us, do not be afraid, be bold and courageous. So this business is based off of that. Um, so I just want to document this because I have decided to commit to this for a year consistently, not like I've been doing, you know, we got the idea. Well, yeah. Dad gave me the idea in 2019 when I was pregnant with Serenity, my last daughter. And I was just like, that day, I was just like, okay, you know, I'm about to have three girls. What is something that I can do for them that can be fun and that can um, be something that they carry on? So my husband was like, why don't you do, he gave me the name. So he said more glitter girls, something like that. I think at the time the Trolls movie was out and Aria, my now five-year-old, she would watch it over and over and over. But not just that, she's very confident. And she, at that time, she was like a makeup enthusiast. She still is. She like was doing my makeup and stuff. I, I had actually bought her a makeup set for Christmas when she was three. <laughs> so... Um, she was just, her personality is very big. So it, it kind of sprung off of her, but it was also something that we knew that we could use for all of the girls. And I'm like, lip gloss, why not? So here we are two years later. I haven't been consistent, but I can say that I made sales. So I can imagine, it was the grace of God, but I can imagine if I be consistent with it for at least a year, what we can do with it. Because I plan on um, making this bigger than what it is. I want to make it like a movement. I definitely want to make it like, uh, you know, a self-care kind of business to, t you know, to encourage moms to take care of themselves and model themselves in a way where their daughters can be confident in who they are and model and be okay with modeling themselves after their mother because they could be like my mama she did this she did that she took care of herself blah 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 it's more about the self-care part um so it's way bigger than what it seems so i'm launching the website today today is november 27 20 21 and I'm going to be consistent in this business until November whatever day small business let's see I don't even have to say whatever day I'm gonna put this down right here oh, okay. and I feel like like even right now I'm about to post this y'all can't really see it but this reel on their Instagram page. Um, but let's look at the date for next year. So today is the 27th. We're going to look at the year. We're going to 2022. So small business Saturday would fall on. Uh, 
So Thanksgiving next year will be the 24th. So small business Saturday is going to be the 26th. So I'm going to be consistent in this business, get my girls and my family involved. And we're going to be consistent in this business until it doesn't stop here. But to see the progress that we've made on November 26, 2022. So I'm officially launching. I have not set like these crazy expectations for myself, but like last year, I wasn't posting about it much. I wasn't doing much of anything, but I had made a whole bunch of lip gloss. And I was like, you know what? Let me just post on, you done with the room? I was like, let me just post that we have lip gloss for sale for Small Business Saturday. But um, last year on Small Business Saturday, so 2020, I was just like, man, I got all this lip gloss. I, this is when we had been sitting on the idea for a year. I had uh, made products, bought products, learned how to make it and stuff like that. And I'm like, I'm going to post this because, and we'll just see what happens. And like, I posted it and we sold lip gloss, y'all. Like, I was like, what? <laughs> So, yeah, um, never set big expectations for yourself. Like, I mean, don't set expectations like goals and stuff. But um, for me to have not had really put in, like, all that marketing work, I just posted and said, hey, support my girls today on Small Business Saturday. We got a lip gloss. We sold, like, somebody bought, like, two and somebody else bought two. And then... Um, a friend of mine bought like 30 lip glosses and I was like oh my god she she bought it and she wanted it for um, Christmas gift bags so we sold like I don't know I think she bought 30 yeah so we sold like 35 lip glosses that day and we sold a couple more after that within that week but I didn't keep posting about it <laughs> So just that was a sign right there for me to just go for it, you know, like just keep pushing. I didn't, but I never gave up on the idea. I actually took, so that was last year. So after that, I kind of stopped. And then I still took time to like make more gloss and uh, stuff like that. And then I really decided to like rebrand over the summer and buy better tubes that will work for us and um change the name and make a logo and all kind of stuff so here we are so today i'm going to launch the site yes. what you want hmm you're passing you trying to see <laughs> oh. so at the time when the idea came to us she was in my tummy you were in my tummy and she was an inspiration for the business too because i was like i'm gonna have a third girl and now yeah. you gonna get down hmm? yeah. down i'll get your patsy let's go get your patsy and now we have a fourth girl in here so y'all but because of the vision for the business it's like i really can see this being something big it just requires the commitment and the work and sometimes i'm just like forget that okay but i'm not going to do that this time i just really want to challenge myself and set a goal to do this for a year consistently i have big plans for mother's day like i see like a big vision for this for Mother's Day and Valentine's Day and just a whole movement for it. So I'm excited. So I'm going to, all this morning I've been working on kind of finding a lot of things on the Shopify site. Uh... I hope I've been working in the right site. But anyway, I'm just going to show y'all real quick the 
about how the side looks. Okay, so I'm gonna go right here. I'm actually gonna go buy the domain name. Um, and I was able to find a four month free trial for this Shopify thing. So that was amazing. I'm gonna click right here. So this is how the site looks. And I didn't wanna overthink it. I just wanted to keep it real simple. There's the glosses. So if you go follow us on Instagram, it'll be there. And we're actually ready to sell right now. I, I'm not about to overstress and stuff like that. I just, I want to keep it simple for now. And as we grow, then we will, our website will grow with us, evolve with us. So I'm selling my lip gloss as sets. So if say it's just you, you want to buy gloss, you can buy these the two different ones we have right now, which is Serenity Gloss and the Be Bold Gloss. This is a Be Bold Gloss set because um, the intentions are for like mommy and me or you've got daughters and you want to buy one for both of them. Um, so I decided to sell them in sets. Um, so that's what we're doing. So let's click on this one. And there you go. So I kind of got it together. I took a break. I was working on it and I think I took a week or two off from working on the site, but I pretty much got it done, y'all. So the the site is actually officially up so i just it's just on the shopify domain so i just need to go and post it honestly and that's what i'm about to go do so i'll show y'all that in a little bit hey y'all so i gotta close out this thanksgiving vlog real quick um i don't even know if i did but going to right now if I could get up off the floor so today is Monday actually today is Monday November 29th and uh, I just went grocery shopping y'all and I'm officially like I've been doing pickup but I'm officially in that phase of like not I can't walk for long periods of time so I'm like stopping because I don't know if I'm having Braxton Hicks or like contractions. So I was, I was struggling. I went to Aldi and I went to Walmart. I'm not doing that no more for this last month. Because this week officially is going to put me in the last month. Anyway, look, laundry. The kids went back to school today. And today I realized my husband started a new job today. And today I realized I only left out of the house. Like left out of the house, out of my apartment complex two times in the past week. <laughs> so we all were just home. It was cold, so we couldn't take them to the park. They never asked to go outside. We didn't go visit family. So we didn't go do anything. We didn't leave home. We were just home. Um, so yeah, that's how fall break went. I mean, Thanksgiving break went. Um, but one thing I could say is like, I feel like we could have spent more time together as a family this past week. So I, I'm just reflecting because I have like, the time and the quietness in the house now. So I'm just reflecting on the past week and what we could have done better, even between me and my husband. I'm thankful and I'm still trying to keep a heart, a mindset of thankfulness. But I'm just thinking about like what we could have done better. You know, we could have spent more time together. We could have been more intentional about the time that we spent. Um, like for instance, I could have had the kids helping me cook some of the stuff in the kitchen. We did take time just yesterday because we didn't go to church. So we watched 
a few movies together this past week. We watched the Home Alone 2 on Netflix, which was really good. I think I mentioned that already. Yesterday we watched Jungle Cruise on Disney Plus and me, my husband and my son, we watched Hawkeye. So um that's something that we do when they put out the new Avengers series on Disney Plus because we watched um oh and they watched um I fell asleep. They watched Black Widow um, on Disney Plus. So we did watch a couple things together, uh, but we didn't do, oh, they painted, but I didn't do that with them. Um, but yeah. So everybody's gone back to school today. It's just me and Serenity. Dad went to work today, but I'm thankful for my family. I'm, you know, it's a learning curve because I think what it is is that even after being here for like eight months now, we still are getting used to each other because my husband and I talked about this and we were just like, you know, we were back home in Florida. They would be in my parents' house for Thanksgiving break, probably the whole break. So um, I did take time to write down... Um, I did start taking time to write down in a Google Doc what we're going to be doing next year. I know the first three months of the year, it won't be much. It's going to be very cold. We have a new baby, so everybody is going to be getting used to having a new baby in the house the first three months of the year. But after that, when spring starts to roll around and summer, I have a little bit of plans to on what to do for that time. I wrote some stuff down, like some stuff that they asked to do this year that we couldn't do. So, of course, going back to Florida, uh, visiting other beaches, um, Disney. I'm not doing Disney in the summertime. Um, I don't know. It's hot. Uh, Disney. Um, so... April through July is going to be some stuff. And then August through December is going to be like a whole nother thing. Because I got a lot of stuff planned to do for the fall that we can do here in Georgia. Like Blue Ridge Mountain. Um, we can do Blue Ridge Mountain. We can do, I found like these train rides to do in the fall. Um, we because it's beautiful here, y'all, in the fall. Like, it's beautiful. So, I can imagine, like, going to the mountains and closer to where it's more, you know, woodsy and foresty. <laughs> That's not a word, but um, it'll be beautiful. I know one of my daughters had asked to take a train ride. So, I was like, okay, we can take a couple of those. Like, there's so much to do here in Georgia, which I'm, I'm so thankful for that because, yeah, just Florida and Georgia, totally different. Um, but... Apple picking, I'm going to make sure we go to the, um, back to the farm we went to and go do the corn maze, all of that stuff. So there's a lot of stuff that starts to happen in August for the fall that I have planned. Blue Ridge Mountain, next year we're going to take our first like holiday trip. So either for Thanksgiving, we're going to take a trip or for Christmas, we might do both, um, but we want to start taking trips for holidays and not necessarily gift giving and the usual eat food. Like, we don't want to do that anymore. So, being here in Georgia, we're not far away from a lot of stuff. Like, I heard Blue Ridge is very beautiful. Tennessee is right over next door. And there's a lot to do there. So, I haven't looked into Tennessee yet, but I plan on going there. Um... Oh, what else? I think I put some of my other little curls. <laughs> um, but yeah, spring, summertime, we're going to do some stuff. We're going to go, I don't know. Yeah. But the fall I have pretty much planned out on what I want to do. So yeah. So just to close out the vlog, um, I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for the fact that I cooked, I'm thankful, you know, I'm thankful for the fact that, you know, we're here and we're in a new state, our first Thanksgiving in Georgia, um, 
Yeah. So, oh, but I'm glad my kids went back to school today, y'all, because it's quiet in here right now. And all I hear is the clock. Serenity is taking a nap right now. I got to go downstairs and get the groceries out of the car. Um, so if I'm in this situation again when my husband is not home either, I'm just going to have groceries delivered. But thankful, 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 thankful. Our first Thanksgiving in Georgia, it wasn't grand or anything. We just chilled. We were home. We had a home that we could enjoy. And next year is going to be even greater, you know more intentional and not traditional <laughs> so another thing i want to show y'all before i go if i could get up off this floor um oh lord i need help getting up off the floor y'all okay my pelvic pain has been coming back because i haven't been taking my collagen for like two days but i'm gonna show y'all my husband not my husband my son's letters i'm not even gonna show y'all my girl's letters because i don't even know where they're at cadence did a great job on her letters though look he didn't make his bed is it under here no he moved them <sighs> y'all i don't even know where he put them at I had them in the, oh, I'm down here on the closet floor, but I'm just show y'all real quick. So we had them laid out on his, um, turn the flash off. We had them laid out on, I right, don't fall. On his windowsill. Y'all don't pay attention. It's like moving in this apartment. We just. I still. I'm thankful. I'm counting it all joy. Okay. But there's just a lot of stuff that we see. That they didn't do a great job in fixing. When we moved here. But hey. I'm not complaining. Because the last place we lived. Was. Nothing. Com I mean. Was. Yeah. So. I could get this to stay. All right, there's his letters. And I'm going to 